October 18, 2024, and the sun is beginning to set along Broadway in downtown Denville, and it is the start of this year's Pink Witches Night Out. This annual event, in support of women's breast cancer once again, surpasses the years prior as it continues to grow and scale new heights. Thousands pour onto Broadway for the ultimate Girls Night Out event for one of Denville's biggest street events. Hi, I'm Jessica Tarr here with Denville Community Media. It's a beautiful fall evening here on Broadway and the festivities are just warming up. So join me for this year's Pink Witches Night Out 2024 as we explore this amazing and incredible event. Jessica Tarr here for Denville Community Media. We are here with a Denville legend. I feel like we should genuflect. We're here in front of Faith Begora, and this is the esteemed owner, Susan Banks. Yep. Hi. And Susan, I'm so excited to see you. You're our first person to see here, and I know you have a big connection to the Olenowskis. You knew Kathy um, when she had surprises in store. Yes. So what is this like um, to see this event grow as it has? It grew from her being a shop owner and, and, a, and to start a legacy in her name after everything that she went through when we lost Kathy. I think this is just amazing how it's gone from nothing to I'm shocked by how big and how many people are participating and how it keeps growing every year and her with her uh, family uh, being involved and everything. It's just wonderful. I know, and I love your pink. It's it's amazing to meet her daughters. Her daughters are such a testament. I mean, to have um, to go through this with their mother and then to create this from that. I mean, they are an amazing family. I also like that we know, sadly, we know the people that is, they help every year, and it is Denville moms or right. Denville women, and that's to be able to give back to the community like that means everything. Right. There's such an authenticity about this event. It's not, you know, at the heart of it, it's it's us in Denville. Right. This isn't Denville working for Denville. Right. Giving to Denville. Right. It's very um, defined by uh, members of the community like you. Um, the sheep, are the, are the sheep dressed up? The sheeps have tutus on today. Yes. Should we go check out the sheep in the, oh, I see in the window, yeah, the sheep. The sheep. The, sheep. the witch had a little too much probably, but uh, kind of, but the sheep, yes, the sheep are wearing tutus today. Oh yes. my gosh. Susan, it was so nice to talk to you. We're so used to seeing your, you and your St. Patty's green. Yes. And we are, yes. we're in pink tonight. Yes, we're, everybody's in pink tonight. So I'm going into work tonight. 20% um, of all my sales are being uh, donated to pink witches. And um, if for some reason we're not super busy, they're still getting an X amount checked from Faith McGora tonight. That is amazing. Susan, thank you so much for your contribution tonight. All right, good to see you. Enjoy the evening. Thank so you. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Susan. Bye-bye. Bye. I managed to catch up with Shannon Mulvey, the beneficiary of this year's event, and had a chance to get her impressions of this year's Pink Witches Night Out. We are here at Pink Witches Night, and we are all about the pink, the, the witches, and the wardrobe, of course, and I am proudly here with our recipient of the evening, and that is Shannon Mulvey. Here she is, Shannon, it's so, such a pleasure to meet you. Um, 
what was it like to make this decision? I know um, there's a lot of attention on you tonight. So wh what is it like to be in this position? I was going through brain surgery and it kind of filtered down from Christina Pasillo, who was one of my husband's best friends from high school, to my husband. And he said, hey, would you want to, you know, she's asking me. Yeah. And I, I didn't know if I could make any really good decisions. I didn't know how I was going to feel. But then ultimately we were like, no, it sounds like a wonderful opportunity. Yeah. And it was an easy decision to make. But it wasn't, you know, it was, it kind of filtered down through the ranks, which was fine because it had to. Nobody could get in touch with me. Right. And, and you know what? There's something about this event. We were saying there's an authenticity about it. It's Meg's event. Her store is here. We're very low key. It's all of us here in Denville. I, I, I'm in Denville Girl Scouts. I know you were a Girl Scout leader and Cub Scout leader. So if there was an event to be a part of, it's, it's definitely this one. Well, I love being here. My whole fa three quarters of my kids are here. We couldn't get our Penn Stater home, but we got a, you know our Rutgers graduate home, and we got our Rutgers freshman home, and then my 15-year-old's ho always home. So we would have liked to have had them all here, but it was just we couldn't get that one home. So wow, well, I'm so I, thankful. My mom is here. My sister. I have a a great. A great crew here. I met I met your mother. She is lovely. Okay. She has a beautiful trench coat on, <laughs> and it really it it it, it really is. I'm, I'm telling you, an, an authentic event, and um, it's just it it's it has such positive vibes. So I just feel like how could you go wrong w with attending it? Absolutely, absolutely. And everybody was happy to attend it. It's a beautiful weather, made it that much easier, and it's warm even though it's October and. Uh, yeah, everybody's happy to be here. They all beat me here. They were like, where are you? I'm like, stuck in traffic on Route 53. Oh my goodness. And and thank you so much for your, just your, your positivity is amazing. I mean, just standing here and I know it's it's your mind that has really served you well through all of this. You're an author. Do you want to tell us a little bit about, about your book? Well, I had been a chiropractor for a million years and I felt like I was used to telling people what to do. And once... I was started going through it. I started putting posts on Facebook of what was happening because I, I was so emotional that I would break down crying anytime I told anybody the story. It was easier just to put it on Facebook and be done with it and tell everybody at the same time. Plus, I knew my kids would be really turning to their friends and what would they be telling their friends' parents. I kind of wanted to get ahead of the story and give people a language to be able to deal with it because it was one of the, you know, it was, so I, I ended up, a lot of people kept saying they were putting my posts together and giving it to their friends or forwarding it to their friends or could you friend this person because she's my friend, she wants to read it. So they said, could you put it together? And it was just a matter of just really printing up the Facebook posts, editing them a little bit to, so that they made sense and um, putting it together. And I said, well, I got to do something with my time. <laughs> Yes. So it was your Facebook posts that really launched this, because you're an incredible writer. Oh, because you're. I, I. I was. I'm able to see some of your posts. I. I have your book. And when I found that I was going to meet you, I had to buy the book, and it is on Amazon because I. I did buy the the book on Amazon, and I mean your writing is there, and it's clear to me that you're able to, to depart a little bit and be very present to write what you're able to write in the book. I dictated most of it. I would be sitting in the chemo chair, and I remember the second time I was dictating away. My mom said, "Honey, my my friends thought you." sounded a little bit angry last time. I was like, I was angry last time. <laughs> she said, oh, okay, then that's fine. You know, and it was just, it was just pure emotion. Yes. So. Wow, that's amazing that you were dictating that. Well, as you were in, you were receiving, I guess, a transfusion, got right? got my mind off yes. of it. You know, it was, I was able to focus on something else besides probably the horror show. You know. I know. I, I'm telling you, your mind is such an inspiration. I, I, I want to thank you for being here tonight. Thank you. It means so much um, to everybody. Oh, my, I'm so, I'm so happy to hear that. Um, I'm telling you, for all, everyone that it, um, in the area or who is watching this that is experiencing this, um, to meet you and and feel your energy. Uh, I mean, it's real and it's amazing, and and people are going to be very ex inspired to hear and see you on camera. You can only hope, right? You can only hope. No one here knows their outcome. Yeah. You know, so we all we can do is try to be as present as we can and enjoy. Yeah, and have quality of life along the way. Yes. And you you are I'm literally looking at you with rose colored glasses. <laughs> so thank you You're for hiding my real glasses so I don't look like an old lady. <laughs> oh my, oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm getting so emotional, but thank you for you 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 truly are a filter for this for this cause, you know, and and 
and this disease in our world that we're that none of us are you know exempt from. So I appreciate it's that. It's amazing to meet you. No, thank you thank so you. much. So nice to meet you. I know, really nice. appreciate it. All right. Thank you. thank you so much. That's Dana. He's behind the camera tonight. Wow. Amazing to meet Shannon Mulvey. Such an inspiration. We don't want to take up all your time. You got to get out there, and we got to have we got to have fun. We're, We're gonna, gonna get out there. This is the ultimate girls' night out. Let's get out there. All right. All right. Here we go. Okay. I had the great pleasure to be working side by side with another Denville Community Media member, Annie Schusler, who was also exploring this event with a Girls' Night Out production team. Okay, so Jessica here, I'm with Annie, and we are really spellbound. I, I'm not even sure which direction we should go. I don't know, where, where have you been so far today? Well, I, you know, honestly, with the street clothes, I'm a little confused, but we're in front of Nail, tw Nail 21, Shoe and Sneaker Barn. Maybe I'll head this way to Sisters. Then I gotta go this way to Taco for Fair. We're gone. Okay. <laughs> you are everybody's MC here. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. <laughs> it's like the most famous voice in Denville. Oh, wow. That's saying, that's, that's very kind and humble. <laughs> thank you. So what are we here? We are here are at Pink Witches 2024. We are. And uh, what does this event mean to you? Well, to me, I mean, I'm a man, but still to to be able to be down here and donate my time uh, with everybody else that's down here to find a cure for breast cancer and to help out uh, a special individual this year with her bills to pay for all of her cancer treatment. Um, it's an honor to be here. I mean, we really should be helping each other out the best we can whenever we can. Absolutely. It is wonderful that you lend your voice and your talent. Thank you. That's the least I could do. Thank you. <laughs> and you're sporting that pink. I am. Look, real men, it. real men wear pink. That, you real rock men wear pink. pink. You so rock it. I'm all about pink tonight. <laughs> Absolutely. So I think Meg Olinowski, though, and Jen Fox do a fabulous job uh, and their entire committee. Um, and they asked me to be a part of it every year. And it, and it really is an honor to, uh, to be here and to lend my voice. Such a great event. Right. Thank you so very much. Thank you, guys. the night fell over this wonderful celebration of life, there seemed to be so many people to talk to and so much to explore. One could feel all this excitement about so much going on, and all for a great cause. of Team Olenowski, we have Meg Olenowski here. And Meg, what an event. We are feet away from a casino set up in North Jersey and right in front of our main sponsor, Atlantic Health. What a night, especially in thinking of your mom. Uh, you know, she must be smiling down. What do you think? Yeah, I think so. That or she thinks I'm a little nuts for doing this. Um, <laughs> no, but it's, I mean, it's truly her legacy, her kindness, her compassion. Um, she would do this tenfold. Um, it would be a better run event, I'll tell you that right now. Um, but no, she. this is exactly the kind of thing that I want to be doing. Um, you know, unfortunately, I feel like a lot of cancer walks and things are a little sad and whatnot, and I understand it. We can grieve our loved ones, and we can be sad that we have cancer. We can also come out here and fight cancers behind and have a good time. Exactly. There is just something about this event in particular that is just so authentic. Your store is right here. Our friends are all here. Where we, our restaurants are here. I mean, and the spirit of your mom is here. The spirit of healing is here. It's so positive. I mean, it's fun. 
it is. It's, it's promoting such a vibe. I, I hope it just carries on throughout the rest of our calendar. But thank you so much for putting this together. I yeah. can't even tell you. We're having a great time. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, I feel like it's the one night a year. I mean, us Denville business owners like try to band together as much as possible. But, you know, it's crazy. And you're running a business. You're head down all the time. I think this is the one time a year we all get together. We band together for a good cause. I mean, you know, downtown Denville's here and the mayor's right behind us it's all good stuff right so uh it's just it's so exciting it's awesome i love to see all my friends i love to see everybody get dressed up my poor family is working this event like crazy people i get to at least walk around but um thank you so much atlantic health thank you so much i'm gonna butcher their name dow chow Sank sanko uh thank you so much downtown denville thank you so much the oaks where my grandma lives um and all of our other sponsors it's been a great night uh awesome board members and you know, hey, shop local downtown Denville and support the cause. We love you, Shannon. Yes, we're here for Shannon tonight. Thank you so much, Meg. There's just nothing like this. There's another spot. There's a specialty place over there. This is Cheryl Granitos. Uh, yeah, so it, we have a special spot in the bar. You guys should go check out. It's in honor of Cheryl Granito. She was a Canadian. So we have pink maple leaves with CG on them, tattoos. Um, yeah, representing Cheryl's family is here tonight. We miss her a lot. So. Uh, unfortunately, here kids know what I went through, so we're here to support them as much as possible. There's a QR code to donate to the Granito family, too. Okay. Yes, of course, tonight we are thinking of it. Thank you, Meg. We're thinking of the Granito family tonight. Like our recipient tonight, Cheryl was also a Girl Scout leader, so we are courageous and strong. We're raising our glass tonight for Cheryl and her family and the Granito girls. <laughs> So we are in the silent disco yes. hall. Yes. <laughs> Booth. Okay. Yep. Disco and, range. <laughs> and how does this work? So the each headphone has a different color. When it's dark, you can see them better. So we have blue, green, and red. And they connect to the computers. And the blue plays 80s music. The green plays 70s music. And the red plays 2000s music. Wow. Yes. Wow. Yes. So there's nothing 40s though, but uh, we can put anything we want on though. So if <laughs> Oh, terrific. How cool. And nobody, nobody hears it. So this is just your, your, your own private party. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Our own. It's, it's free to do. Anyone attending the event can do it. So it's great. Oh, yes. terrific. Yes. All right. Well, we will definitely have to come by and yes. and observe people. Uh, Dancing. We Last year we had a tent full of people. By, by 7 p.m., everyone loves to dance at 7 p.m. That's when the party happens. I guess Billy Idol shows up and just tells you to dance by yourself. Yes. <laughs> Alright, well, we'll definitely be back. Awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. And I'm here with Gene Fitzpatrick yes. of the Downtown Denville committee so yeah downtown denville business improvement district our our organization a nonprofit organization that sole purpose is to promote this awesome downtown yeah. and the best way to do it is things like this thanks to pink witches for having this awesome event here tonight wow yes i haven't seen anything like this i feel like this is you know such a standalone vibe um i mean a while ago there was the harvest festival that was the big yeah, right? th this is like almost the second coming yes. of that type of phenomenon absolutely absolutely so many people come out um you know and and people are shopping in stores they're eating at restaurants they're supporting the cause they're supporting vendors that are here it's like such a community event which sort of makes sense it's so much of our downtown stores are so about also supporting something that's a good cause so hopefully they have a good night and they get lots of sales and things like that, but they also give back, which is great. I mean, it's amazing. Thank you for having the insight to see the potential in this strip. Um, and the, the minds, I mean, you're the top that, that have brought this together. I mean, it's its amazing. We are super grateful to the Kathy Olenowski Foundation. The event's gone on long before we existed, and now they're running it, and we're happy to host it, and we'll keep doing it for many years. It's amazing. I mean, when you get to the top, you figure out how this all happens. So uh, we appreciate it. And thank you guys for always being here and covering so many great things in town. 
Thank you. It's a pleasure. It's amazing to be here. Hi, we're here with Julia Lavolsi. She is Miss Teen New Jersey USA. You were crowned in? I was crowned in June. Congratulations. Thank you so much. It's amazing to see you here at Pink Witches Night Out. I mean, you're in your pink. You look gorgeous. And I know you're a college student. Where do you go to school? I attend Syracuse University. Wow. So it's not too far. No, it's about, it's about four hours. Not, not that bad at all. So you, you were able to make the trip down 81. <laughs> we have a lot in the area, um, in this area that go to Syracuse. It's, very, it's a great school. And um, what are you studying? I'm studying broadcast and digital journalism at the S. High Newhouse School, school of Communications. All right. All right. That is so perfect. I have a lot of friends that went there, and my sister actually attended there also. Yes, so it's, it's, a wonderful, it's a wonderful school. So go Orange. Go Orange. Thank you so much for having me. This event is so incredible, and it's so amazing supporting such a great cause. It's an amazing cause. At the heart of this cause is, you know, a, it's a big deal for us, breast cancer awareness. It's amazing that um, so much fun is right here around us, you know, all to support this. It's pulled all together and it's just, it's, it really is a falls event. There's nothing like it. So we're so happy that you're here with us today. I am so happy to be here. It is truly an honor. Yes, and there's going to be a lot of energy coming your way tonight. Um, enjoy the rest of the night, and I hope you get to meet Otto at a basketball game. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Congratulations. Thank you for talking with us tonight. Thank you. Okay, hi. We're here with Bill Brotman, Director of Sales at the Oaks at Denville. And what do you think of Pink Witches? It's so great for you to be here. It's fantastic. We have a great time every every year. We, we are a prime sponsor for this uh, event. We just think it's the best. We're right around the corner, so this is our community. It really is amazing. I was just yeah. saying, I, you know, in the 90s there was the Harvest Festival, and then we had a lull, and now I really feel like this is just such a phenomenon again for Denville. So many people come out. I think the town loves this event. This is probably, I want to say of all the events that Denville does, this might be the number one event. It's so much fun. Everyone loves it. It really is. It's it's a standalone, and you, and I just want to say your wardrobe is very on point with your with your pink tie, and we know that the pink is pointed to our cause of the evening, which is breast cancer awareness. And I'm sure uh, with the Oaks, you care for uh, many people there, and I'm sure your heart is near and dear to this. Oh, it definitely is. Our residents range anywhere from 55 to 105, and it's just amazing. Just the stuff that you learn from your residents is phenomenal, what they bring to the table. It's not a nursing home, it is an independent living community, so it's just amazing. It's a cruise ship that doesn't go anywhere, and they have the best life. They really do. It's so true. I've been in there. It's in the heart of Denville. The atmosphere is, is beautiful. The residents are just lovely and happy and thriving. So it was so nice to meet you, Bill. It was a pleasure meeting you. Okay, I'm, he I'm here with... Officer Adam of the Denville Police Department, our finest, of course. So, Adam, how is this evening going? This evening is going great. It's a great crowd. We're happy to be here. We're happy to represent. All of our Denville officers are wearing pink badges to show our support. And it's a great turnout. It's amazing. It really transforms. It's not our usual street. It, it, to me, it, honestly, it looks like Nashville. It's a complete transformation with the DJ and the music and this crowd. Yeah, it's, it's an awesome event. You know, listen, it's an honor to have your presence here tonight. I know we're usually used to you seeing you at Lakeview, and of course we did our Girl Scout trip with you. So it's just wonderful to have you here. I feel like we're on the red carpet of Broadway here yeah. at Pink Wishes Night, here for a wonderful cause. So we're with the Community Service uh, Division of Denville. A uh, couple of us, actually the, every officer that's working here right now is with Community Services. So we're representing and we're out here making sure everybody's safe. Yes, thank you so much for keeping us safe. And how many of you are, are out here tonight with us? So we have four officers working today uh, for traffic and just safety. Okay, and if anybody dances a little crazy, you guys are going to break it up, right? Uh, we might join them in dancing or break it up. We'll see how crazy it gets. We don't know. Yes, you're right. The vibe is high here. Thank you so much, Officer Adam. Thank you so much. Thank you for being out here. Thank you so much. Okay, now I feel like I'm on a baking show now, but we <laughs> we have found Alexa, and she is the owner of Make It Sweet by Lex, and this is her beautiful booth, and she is a Denville resident, and she, do you make all of this? I make it all myself. Spend hours in the kitchen. <laughs> do you have a mega kitchen like we were talking about over at the A&R Interiors booth? I like to imagine that I do. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm telling you, we are in the land of impressive kitchens here in Denville. And it's your your spread here is is terrific. I mean, there's there's a little something. What's your what's your most popular snack? So tonight, my most popular are the mini donuts over here. They're apple cider donuts. They're absolutely delicious. Um, I also love the morning coffee cake cookie that we have. Um, it tastes basically just like a piece of coffee cake. So if you'd like to pair it with coffee, you're more than welcome to. It tastes delicious. <laughs> I love the mini size because usually the apple cider donuts are because they come in a big pack. They're yeah. overwhelming. We don't want to go for the sugar, but these are very doable and you know easy to to fit in mm -hmm. to a balanced diet, not too mm -hmm. overwhelming. It was so nice to meet you, Alexa. You too. Thank you so much. We're so happy to hear you have you got uh, here at Pink Witches Night. So have a great night. Thank you. You too. Enjoy. <laughs> Okay, we are on set. We're on location in the most residential spot. I think Mary Sheeran, our famous realtor of Denville, scoped out the best spot on the strip here. This is our little photo booth, our little uh, Irish cottage that we had made specially for wonderful events like this. Pink Witches is definitely one of our favorite. We've been doing it since it started when I had a little cardboard table in front of uh, Jen's uh, uh, place over at that uh, dash of time. So yes, you're right. Such a huge event. It's wonderful. This event has had humble beginnings, and it really has built up to the point where, I mean, you're bringing in houses here. Yeah, yeah. We're so happy. And so what we did is we're giving out a basket to anybody that comes by to, you know, um, treat women and have them have a nice night to themselves with a all treat like a spa treatment and then um and, and just some messages to women who are going through and struggling with this terrible disease and that we're here to help and we can do our best Yes, it's true. It's so great to be out here with you. We are out on a night where there are, we are among women struggling and it's so nice for them to have a break, um, for them to stop by and see you. You have an amazing energy. I'm sure it's being projected out into the masses tonight. It's so nice to speak with you tonight, Mary. Nice to meet you, honey. Oh. Have a great night. You too. Thank you so much. Another great Pink Witches Night Out goes down in Denville as one of the best, and it only gets better with each passing year. For Denville Community Media, it's both a pleasure and honor to bring it to you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to stay up with Denville Community Media as we bring you the best that our community has to offer. I'm Jessica Tarr, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you out there in Denville.